everyone hope you all are doing great at home after the covid era now the things are coming to normalcy schools are getting opened up so the major rush in the parents mind is when to send our child to the schooling this is dr jyotsha tani pandala from daffodil cdc hyderabad today i would like to put a little insight on what prerequisites you should understand before sending the child especially the children with autism spectrum disorders to the schooling generally the parents have idea of age age is a major criteria for getting admissions into the schools but when it comes to a child with special needs or the autistic spectrum disorder kids the main criteria you should think is about the developmental age of the child and what skills my child has acquired in terms of sensory behavior and communication parents please do remember that we never leave our child into a swimming pool without teaching skills for swimming similarly we should never send our child and leave in a realistic world schooling is the realistic world for our children we should never leave them before accommodating them or before getting those prerequisites acquired so parents i want you to remember this four prerequisites the first and foremost thing is the sensory processing abilities of your child is my child ready to take in the sensory overwhelming stimuli from the classroom and second question is is my child able to regulate his emotions in a proper manner third question should be is my child able to communicate his needs to the teacher or to his friends in an acceptable way for example child can go and just grab the things teacher or the other people will expect the child to ask for it so we have to make sure that we taught the child with that prerequisites and even the sensory input at the schooling might be overwhelming to many of the children with autism spectrum disorders imagine there would be a new teacher they are talking around and kids playing around and running around because all of the tiny tots that's a common scenario which we come across in the schools and imagine a child who has a hyper sensitivity to this auditory stimuli so parents please you have to make sure that there is a proper sensory integration therapy done and the child should come to that certain level of sensory accommodation where he should be able to understand and can and handle his sensory meltdowns i hope this would be useful to you thank you so much if you have any more questions please post it on our whatsapp number or please do email us at daffodils speech therapy@gmail.com Thank you.